It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one just about Ready. to get underway. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, man. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. 
huge block there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Double jab landed there by him. Massive head kick. Beautiful strike. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Heavy kick downstairs. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know... Oh! Oh, big left hand! Oh! Left hook to the head. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. These eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Ooh, big shot land. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Nice execution on the team. Timely defense there, huge block for him. He threw that one with all of his power. Under a minute now to go in the round. Let's go, Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. Doing a great job of recognizing that that's oh, man. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Head kick is blocked. Oh, roundhouse kick. Trading the bottom shot. He's going to be the last man standing. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts Ready. to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead. All right, here we go with that. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Above the eye here. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, 
Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for offense, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but with the opponent still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.